Right, I'm gonna try and keep this under two minutes if I can. Hotel X-Ray 03, another St. John's. This is the, well, the wind's really picking up today. This is another 2.5 with the favorable five-speed manual transmission. Galvanized chassis. Um, I'm gonna to struggle to find any rust on this van actually. This one has only done 50. Let's just go through the checks there. 52,000 miles, so not a great deal. Um, not a great deal. I've been, I've been done with this van in its time. Um, so let's go around it. Cab's looking good, seat's looking good. Interior, as always, no one's put the feet on the dash, which is nice. Radio's there. This needs filling in with something nicely. Um, we've rewired the electric, so we've got everything working. We have done an inspection report, that was Robbie. So that'll be available on our website. Yeah, generally speaking, this is looking rather nice. No side step. This one doesn't look like it's had a side step before anyway. <coughs> Whale tap missing. No air conditioning, but someone might benefit from the overhead storage facilities up there. I'd sooner have the air conditioning personally. Stretch mats need removing. Here we have the lights. There we go. They all appear to be working. Of course, the extraction fan will only work when the engine is running. We can reconfigure that if you'd like. Also, the night heat is not turning on. That is because the isolator in the front has the key missing. We will rewire the van so the night heat works, and of course, we'll probably remove that. There's the battery isolator to kill the engine when you're not using it. So yeah, looking good this van is, nice low mileage. Let's do the door test. That is shutting nice and flush. And there's the wind holding me out this video. Check that underbelly over there, I'm not sure where that's come from. Looks like we have the ramp and air suspension button missing on there as well, so that's something we need to address. So yeah, great van. Um, with the St. John's, because we are getting to limited numbers, um, it's more than likely that we will be providing it with a um, the sticker removal, back yellow bumper painted, spoiler removed, roof rack if necessary, definitely a spare wheel carrier, and potentially a ladder if the customer wants it. Um, yellow bonnet replaced with another one and these holes filled on the front. <coughs> yeah, no, this one bodywork wise is fantastic. Just needs a little bit here and there, but nothing too expensive. So yeah, this was this is available at market in a minute. Um, so we're going to be a good option for your conversion.